Welcome to SSA Group YouTube channel. Hi everyone! In this video, my colleague and I want to cover an extensive topic – quality assurance. There is no general consensus that the work of quality assurance engineers is a necessary part of the software development process. So, we want to sort out your practices and tips for businesses and determine why it's important to engage QA engineers in the software development lifecycle. And before we start, in the description you can find a list of time codes with the main questions to be answered in this video. First, let's speak about testing types. They are divided into two groups – functional and non-functional. Not all tests are performed by QA engineers alone. Sometimes they need to collaborate with other specialists like software developers, usability specialists and security specialists. It would be a mistake to expect that unit tests and integration tests, even when combined with a test-driven development approach, can replace all other types of testing. QA engineers not only test individual software components, but the whole system by following a precise test plan that covers all types of tests. The next question to discuss is types of QA engineers. Testing can be implemented by means of manual and automated methods. Therefore, all testers are divided into QA manual engineers and QA automation engineers. QA manual engineers combine product knowledge and QA domain expertise, focusing on improving the final products and end user satisfaction. To ensure the high quality of the final product, the testing process must be systematic and based on a detailed test plan. QA automation engineers build the frameworks and packages required to implement QA automation. No doubt, they understand manual testing methods and techniques, but their strength is automation, as they would have mastered programming skills to avoid all routine manual activities. Project managers, team leaders, data analysts or software developers cannot provide a systematic and high-quality testing process. Setting up QA process and coordinating test engineers team is the responsibility of test lead or QA lead. In addition, we should specify what can be tested. It might be the business logic of software products, UI and data. Data testing is made by Data QA Engineer, who is responsible for data quality and has deep expertise in SQL, Python or R programming languages. On a small project, some hybrid QA Engineer types can appear, for example, QA slash BA or PM slash QA specialists, who combine the roles of a quality assurance engineer and business analyst or project manager. So previously we said that software developers should not test their own code, and we have five reasons why. Number one, developers must choose whether to write tests or produce new code. The presence of a QA engineer in a software development team allows programmers to concentrate on their core functions. Number two, without a detailed test plan, it is impossible to achieve a consistent and systematic approach to testing software products. Number 3. Developers often work only with one part of the application. Testers examine the entire system, not its separate pieces, to find the common bottlenecks and errors. Number 4. There is a difference in the approach of testers and developers, which prevents them from reviewing their own code objectively and testing the system to find the failures rather than to obtain a positive result. Number 5. QA engineers focus more on verifying adherence to existing requirements by examining user flows and application use cases. The next important question is QA engineer responsibilities. The software testing lifecycle consists of the following stages – requirements analysis, test planning, test case development, test environment setup, test execution and test closure activities, which include quality reports, suggestions for improvement and, in some cases, customer support. And now let's speak about every testing stage in more detail. Requirements analysis First, QA engineers need to analyze the requirements for testing a software product and check them according to five key attributes – completeness, clearness, correctness, consistency and testability. 
also, test engineers should be involved at each stage of a proposal for a new feature, so they can review it and provide recommendations about its implementation in testability. It's always cheaper to prevent defects rather than being forced to fix them at a later stage. A mature quality assurance process must include the rule no release before testing. Test planning. At the most critical stage of testing, planning includes defining the scope and objectives of the experiment, estimating test effort and resources, and specifying the testing environment and tools needed, resources allocation, test techniques to be followed, the risks, and mitigation plan. Test lead or project manager, in collaboration with QA engineers, documents all these points in the test plan, which should reflect the principles of the general test strategy and test policy, the document that represents the testing philosophy of the company as a whole. Testing environment setup is another point to cover. A project manager or test lead cooperates with the project architects and DevOps engineers to define the initial test environment, verify the availability of the resources required, and ensure that people responsible for the testing environment configuration are committed to its creation. No doubt, and the next key engineer's responsibility is the test case development and execution. The test case is a set of conditions and expected results that allow a QA team to determine whether a tested system satisfies requirements and works properly, using either manual or test automation methodologies. The lead role in this stage is played by the manual QA. They should create a test scenario based on possible user behavior inside the system. Quality reports and suggestions for improvement. As quality experts, QA engineers are expected to contribute a lot to the improvement of the final product and user satisfaction and the overall production process. Preventing production outages is the main task for testers. Customer support QA engineers serve as a bridge between the customer support team, who deals with end users, and the production team. Testers create testable customer journeys, analyze user feedback, to find the cause of product imperfections and collaborate with the development team to fix any issues they uncover. The next important question is how to ensure project quality. But before answering, it's essential to remember that the final quality of a released product is the responsibility of each member of the development team, including the product owner. The first important matter is requirement coverage. It demonstrates how many requirements have been covered by test cases and allows determining the particular requirements that are never tested. Test management systems such as TestRail or TestLink allow checking the history of all test cases, plans and runs and calculate a test coverage level. Test effectiveness can be measured by some key indicators like defect density, defect reopen ratio, user acceptance tests and defect leakage. There are only three ways to fix the project quality. Change the test lead, hire a new team of more experienced testers, or replace the IT solution provider. A frequently asked question is what tester to developer ratio is optimal for the development team. But there is no definite answer. The structure of a team depends on the type of solution, industry, safety requirements, and many other factors. For example, projects in the healthcare industry can require even 15 or 30 testers to one developer. On the other hand, startups often have no budget on testers. Teams involved in commercial off-the-shelf software development usually have one-to-one -one ratios. In practice, one tester to three, five developers with a reasonable ratio for business solutions. The common advice is to focus on the number of quality activities needed to achieve customer satisfaction. The higher risks, the more testers should be in a team. And still, we should remember that one highly capable tester might be 10 times more effective than less experienced colleagues. Here are some examples of how world-famous software giants have organized their testing process. Amazon's tester to developer ratio is roughly one test engineer to seven developers. Microsoft employs a one-to-one -one or at least two-to-three tester to developer ratio. 
And as for Google, the company has multi-testing stages. Testing by dedicated testers, testing on a crowd testing platform, testing by Google employees in their daily work, better testing on a small group of end users. One of the most painful questions is how to find an effective tester. Let's draw up a portrait of an experienced QA engineer. Proven competence. Generally accepted professional certifications for a QA engineer include ISTQB, provided by the International Software Quality Institute, the Certified Associate in Software Testing, and the Certified Software Tester Certification from the Quality Assurance Institute. Another popular source for certificates is the International Institute for Software Testing. Apart from this, Scrum and Agile certifications are also worth having for QA engineers. For some projects, another plus is if a QA engineer has certificates in software development or cloud solutions like AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. Communication skills. Quality engineers have to interact with product managers, development teams and users and others to ensure product excellence during all software development stages. Technical breadth. A high level of technical proficiency gives an understanding of how a software product works and where its breaking point may be. The fundamental technical skills testers need in their job are following. Testing techniques and approaches, understanding of the software development lifecycle, knowledge of database, web, mobile and cloud technologies, programming and DevOps skills, ability to work with requirements. Noticeably, more and more QA engineers study data science technologies, enhancing their big data testing, machine learning, AI and data analysis skills. Test to break attitude. There is a difference in mindset between software developers and testers. The first have a desire to build, whereas the testers have a hunch where to dig to discover breakage and must find a way to break the software product. Domain expertise. Industry experts need less time to find the breakpoints and advise the best practices on eliminating them. Analytical thinking. The ability to analyze requirements for testing, investigating problems, finding the cause of bottlenecks in a software product and providing recommendations for its elimination are the essential testers' responsibilities. Any mistake leads to the loss of audience and money. That is why testers' mission is to avoid the dreaded outcome of failed software or the release of a buggy product. Seniority level QA automation engineers have the same seniority levels as software developers – junior, middle and senior. As with QA manual engineers, it is rare to find senior manual testers. They often acquire programming skills and become QA automation engineers or move up to management positions such as test lead, product manager, project manager, business analyst, customer experience managers, etc. A project has little chance of success if the testing processes are entrusted to junior QA engineers. Time is needed to gain practical experience and enhance technical breadth. Therefore, an efficient tester needs at least three years of relevant experience. As we can see, the importance of the QA engineer in the software development lifecycle is quite conspicuous. And it's a common mistake to consider testers as low-skill specialists responsible solely for searching for bugs after the development phase is over. So, our tips on how to build an effective QA team are following. Rely on experienced QA engineers. Consider the tester to developer ratio. Be engaged. Build blended QA teams combining internal QA practices with representative from an IT solution provider. What's your opinion about the QA engineer's role in the software development? We would be happy to read your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to SSA Group YouTube channel to discover more about the world of IT. Bye. Bye.